Ain't nobody want to work out, I guess. Talk. I got to tell what I feel. I got to talk about my life as I see it. Biggie. Andy had to walk away. I saw the hip power. She's like, before I have to change these underwear and pants, I better just go on the other side of the gym. It's getting too hot in here. Look at that. Damn. Imagine that, guys. I mean. So me and my boy Smokey are working on speed, speed kills. And it's something that you, a lot of people say you can't teach, but you certainly can train it. You can certainly go from your current level of being slow to being faster and being more explosive. And we accomplished that here at Super Training Gym by doing various forms of speed work, sometimes with straight weight, sometimes with bands, sometimes with chains. Here we have Smokey setting up with the bands. Watch as he does his set here. He's gonna try to not only push the weight up fast, but he's gonna try to bring the weight down under control, but fast as well. Fast up, fast down. Here we go. Nice. Now, right now we have 185 pounds of bar weight. If I was just a totally guess, I would say that the bands are giving us an additional 100 pounds or so. So it's about 285 pounds at the top. The main thing to remember here is the weights are lighter at the bottom and they're heavier at the top. That allows us to have more acceleration. If we just use straight weight, it's really hard to find the optimal weight. If we just use flat out bar weight and we just use 300 pounds, it's gonna be hard to figure out exactly what weight you need to be able to push into it with a lot of speed and power. And because the bands deload and the chains deload on the way down and they load back up on the way, on the way up, uh, that's gonna allow, allow us to accommodate the resistance. You're gonna have more weight at the top, less weight at the bottom, which is also better for your joints and being able to build up that acceleration, um, you're gonna be able to apply more force to the bar, technically. Now, another example would be, if I was just to try to press this bar as fast and as furious as I possibly could, uh, then there's gonna be a ton of deceleration going on. If I just used 135 pounds, same thing, because your body is not so dumb that it's just gonna allow you to go crazy on it. Think about throwing a wiffle ball. <laughs> Take a wiffle ball and throw a wiffle ball as hard as you can. Probably gonna throw your damn shoulder out because your arm is gonna to have to decelerate a ton to really throw it. If you had a baseball, a baseball would go further. If you had a shot put, there's an optimal weight for everything that you're doing. And an easier way to get optimal weight, in my opinion, is to utilize bands and chains. There's a lot of science that goes into this and people can argue one way or the other. This has been effective for us and this has been a great learning tool because trying to lift the bands or the chains slowly uh, is very ineffective and you run out of time. Uh, this ends up being a time factored thing where you got to get it done quickly. So for today, we're going to use eight sets of three. We chose the bands for today over the chains. The bands, the tension doesn't really run off on the band, so the ten there's still some good tension at the bottom. A big difference with the chain, A, it's just kind of dead weight. It's almost a little bit more like bar weight. And B, the way that we set up the chains here at Super Training, is we have them completely deload on the ground. So when you're at the bottom of the bench press, there's uh, no extra weight on the bar or hardly any extra weight. And at the top, that chain weight's still uh, piling on. Run them jewels fast, run them, run them jewels fast. Run them, run them, run them, run them, run them, run them. fuck the slow mo. Run them, run them. Yeah. Speed work for building strength, you only have a certain amount of time to make the lift. So if you can build explosive power, you will therefore be stronger, be able to lift more weight. If you can get it done in a shorter period of time. If your max is 300 pounds, and uh, currently it takes you six seconds to do it, when it takes you five seconds to do it, it'll be easier. So 
I really like speed work. It gives me an opportunity to get bench press in uh, without jeopardizing basically my shoulders and my upper body. I try to apply uh, bands, chains, maybe a slingshot, maybe some boards, maybe the man pond, uh, something to work on my form and speed. A while back, an idea popped in my head. Me being the people's coach and the rock being the people's champ, I wanted to make something that he could identify with. I wanted to tie in some of his tattoos and some of his logos and some of his lifestyle branding of being the Brahma Bull, being the people's champ, being the great one. I wanted to tie all those factors in together and I wanted to create something that was specifically for The Rock that would capture his attention and hopefully this product did it. the shorts yeah they're they're a little ridiculous um a little too much they need to be a lot shorter oh yeah yeah do so. you have I me mean, i can throw on some booty shorts <laughs> just just pull them up a little higher yeah and then we'll be good okay perfect you know i met mark bell and he was in like a gas station bathroom you know and then to see this it's just like how do you go from a gas station bathroom to this like overnight you know every um every year you know the like the music awards have this thing called like best new artist you know and uh, like overnight success and i really feel like you know i don't know how he did it i don't know how he did it it's mind blowing you know i think the next time i'm gonna see you is the st classic oh my god super training classic january 13th and 14th matt vince is gonna be here no i'm gonna be matt matt's pulling brian i'm pulling shaw? brian shaw jen wiederstrom I my heard. job is to try to pull half of what shot can pull. If I can do that, 600. That might cool be Cool 600. I think Who knows cool. what? I don't even know if you have plates enough for him. I don't, I don't think we'll so. We'll be here. I'm fired I'll up, man. It's going to be good. You're going to pull? No. Yeah, why not? Why don't you jump in? <laughs> you should join in. I am. It's on. It's on. <laughs> Never pulled six. Never had straight six on the bar. I'm going to do it. Let's do it. I'm doing it. What can I say? Another awesome day here at Super Training. Had a lot of new people coming in. Shitload of people buying stuff from the store. My original goal was to have that store flying, have it up and running to the point where it pays for the rent of the whole building. Well, it seems like if we just keep averaging out what we're already doing, that that, that uh, has already been achieved. So due to the support that you guys are given, the support of the fans, the support of the members of Super Training Gym, it's already affording this 23,000 square foot facility. And it's really cool to have new people coming in here every week. I don't think people understand the amount of energy, the amount of wisdom that I get from a lot of this stuff. You know, I, I can be your powerhouse. I got enough power in me. If you want to plug in anytime you're feeling down, anytime you're feeling out, you can plug into Super Training 06 right here on the YouTube channel. You can plug into the Instagram and I can ignite you and give you energy. Not only give myself energy to go, go through my week, but to give you energy to go through your week as well. But the reason I can do that is because the environment that has been created here at Super Training Gym, and it's because of you guys, because of you guys responding, you guys commenting, you guys consistently and constantly wanting more and wanting me to be better, wanting the gym to be better, wanting yourselves to be better is really helping out a lot. And it's it's just, it's so much fun to be part of it. I, I can't say enough about it. I love being here. And to have Kelly Sturette, Juliet Sturette, 
and his children come in today, they're like family to me. And to have them be excited for me, to have them be surprised in some ways. They're not surprised because they didn't think I can do it. They're surprised just because it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. We got the store running. We got the podcast going. We got a lot of offices. And the business has turned into a business of Andy and I, you know, uh, running stuff bare bones to being a legitimate business. Uh, purchasing, uh, we have a pur purchasing uh, manager. We have a warehouse manager. We have a gym manager. Uh, we have customer service. We have social media people. We have regular media people. I mean, it's just evolving all the time. It's growing and it won't stop growing. But a lot of that has to do with you guys, the responses that I get from you guys being inspired, the response I got from uh, showing that old fatty picture of me and uh, giving you some of you guys my phone number and everything else and uh, all the messages from the DM and all the emails and all the dick pics and everything else. Uh, it really has been really cool. As I was reading through a lot of those messages, as Jessica was reading through a lot of those messages, uh, we would have to be robots not to be emotionally moved by a lot of the stuff that we heard. She, yeah, she was going through them and she was crying from one to the next and so on. And the stories a lot of you guys shared, she was helping me answer some of those questions, but it really was me. The stories a lot of you guys shared, I uh, really appreciate. But um, it's just awesome. Just another great day here at Super Training Gym. Finished up with uh, some conditioning stuff with the sled work, some pushes and some pulls and some various things. I'm about to get the hell out of here because I got to go eat. I got to go get those gains. I got to keep pushing towards that January 13th and 14th event where I really hope I see a lot of you guys. Uh, it's going to be at Cal Expo here in Sacramento. It's going to be an awesome event. Bart Kwan may be there. Still working on him. Omar Isaf, Furious Pete, Brian Shaw, Matt Vincent, Kelly Sturette, Jesse Burdick. The list is mounting. The list goes on and on. We're going to continue to get great people here, great lifters here. And it's not just for the great. It's not just for the best of the best. But it's also for any of you out there that may be new. Any of you that may want to share the platform with Mark Bell or Brian Shaw for a day. You're more than welcome to come out and check out the contest. The contest will be done with a slingshot on for the bench. And it will be done. Uh, and there will also be a deadlift component to it as well. And uh, hopefully I'll see all you guys there. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you guys later. Push. <laughs>